The night snake is highly cryptic and rarely seen. When it is, it's usually in the darker hours, as its name implies. Their range is the western part of North America, hibernating in winter and preferring rocky, sandy areas. They use venom, harmless to humans, to subjugate their prey, which is mostly lizards and their eggs. They can grow up to two feet long, so I figured this one was a baby or a juvenile. I rescued it from my dogs and decided to put it in a big glass bowl where I could observe it for a while. I noticed it began to make mysterious shapes, a question mark, and look at the figure the light was making on the glass, an owl or phoenix, the mythological bird that rose from the ashes to live again. It reminded me of another important serpentine symbol, the Ouroboros, the snake in a circle eating its own tail. The idea of the cosmos as an unbroken circle is repeated in this image all over the world, practically in all cultures. So Carl Jung saw the Ouroboros as an archetype and the basic mandala of alchemy, a process whereby the lead of the base elements of human personality is transmuted into the gold of illumined awareness. This process includes integrating and assimilating the opposite or shadow self, which becomes food or fuel for the higher. So it also symbolizes immortality because the Ouroboros slays and rebirths himself, much like the cycle of the Phoenix, which is an archetypal symbol of the universal mother or creator of the universe. The Ouroboros was the earth serpent and once commanded great devotion as a symbol, as it represents the entire life of nature. The one is the all. Twist the circle around and you get a figure eight, the mathematical sign for infinity, which has its own cosmic connotations. Well, this little baby was living up to its name as a creature of the night, of mystery and the cosmos. Funny thing was, at the time, I had no idea what kind of snake it was, so I put out a little water and egg because I thought it could be hungry. He or she just curled up there in a beautiful infinity sign for the longest time before it took off underneath the house where it would hopefully be safe. I found a short poem by William Ricci entitled Infinity that speaks to the whole experience. Removed from the city, even for an afternoon, layers of stress and blocks fall away, replaced by what the wind brings, what the trees take, and what the animals are willing to share. How else to rebuild the soul than to witness firsthand the infinite cycle of nature, of earth, of home? Contemplating the baby snake and its cosmic connections, I'll leave you with a poem of my own to think about. Watching infinity unravel into darkness, the light remains, and the baby night snake is free. Al accepts the offering of the moon, rising like a phoenix from the circle of fire. Two winged insects find water and get lost in the seeming struggle between life and death. Would you save them? Could you save them? Should you save them? The answer lies between the lines, like two sides of the same coin. We all get one. How will you spend it?